Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. My name is Andre from Dagui. Today I'm going to show you how to draw with watercolor brushes these flowers. So I start with the new file, go to File and click New. In this tutorial I use for the width 340 millimeters and for the height 210 millimeters. Click by the orientation on this landscape button and I use for color mode RGB. So the next thing what we need is some watercolor brushes. I use my own watercolor brushes. So all these brushes are available on my website dagubi.com and I start with this brushes set. So first I try some lines, choose the paintbrush tool and I choose this blue color. So I start my flowers with this brush. So please take every time new brush. Okay, next I change my brushes set and I continue with this brushes set and this brush. Oh, sorry. So, next, what you need to do is change the blending mode. So, go to the transparency panel and change it to multiply. And I draw with the same color and this brush. Change the stroke quite a little bit. And change the color to red. So change the blending mode back to normal and change the brushes set. And we need again the blue color. And now change the blending mode again to multiply and I use the same brushes.
So if I like to draw with this red color, so hold down the control key and click on this brush with the red color and you can see this color change every time I click on a brush. So I need this red color. So this is my first flower. So I'd like to group this. So select the whole flower and now go to object and click group. So this is my group of my first flower. So for my second flower I use the same brushes but I start with another blending mode, I start with darken blending mode. So choose the paintbrush tool and oh, sorry, we need the blue color. So blending mode is darken and now take a second brush and now change the blending mode to multiply. So if you like you can change the blending mode, if you don't like this dark areas, so change the blending mode back to darken. You can combine this blending mode, um, you can try Again, the normal mode. So we need again this red color. So you can save this red color. Go and click on this new swatch button.
Okay, next group this flower. Select the whole flower and go again to object and click on group. So next change the brushes set. So I continue with this brush. This time I change the color to green. So I try this green color. So, but I'm going to create this leaves in a new group, in a new layer. So please create a new layer and drag this down under the flower groups. So you can lock this flower group and now oh, that's fine. So change the blending mode of these strokes to darken. So next I'm going to draw the leaves. This time I use this brush set and I start with this brush. So first draw a line. So I use in this for for these leaves this variable width tool width profile tool. So I use this width profile. You can change the stroke white. So I'd like to change the stroke white. So please hold down the control key and so you can change this to 1.5 point. So that's fine and So next you can take one of these brushes, so hold down the control key and I take this brush, click on this brush and 
now change the color to yellow. And change the blending mode to multiply. So next you can duplicate this first three lines. So select these three lines and drag this down to the new layers button. So you get three new copies. Select these copies and change the color to yellow or orange. And change the blending mode to multiply. So that's fine. So if you like, you can add some strokes from the background. So create a new layer, drag this down under the other two layers, and this time I use this brush set and I continue with yellow or orange color. Change the stroke white, make it very big, three or four points. And last, I use another brush set, so this flash brushes. With green color. Oh. Change the stroke white back to one point. So you can change also the opacity if you like. Little bit blue. That's it, I'm finished. Thanks for watching. If you liked this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you soon.